Hello viewers, I'm SB, and welcome back to shit getting extremely real in the New Orleans catacombs here in Wolfenstein. Um, I don't have a good plan. Hold on, let's let's just try let's try a couple of things that aren't. Let's run directly into everybody. I'm gonna try to grenade this guy with the electromagnetic pulse grenade and see if we can't maybe like disable him. Nope, there's no no interaction. I, I think that was worth a shot. That's the kind of thing that happens in video games, right? Wow, actually. Damn, red eyed sniper guys. Right, I'm relying on range to keep me safe here. I'm a much better fighter at range than most of them are. A lot of them are just using that, like, SMG thing. Actually. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Alright. It's really just the guys with the red eyes that are dangerous at long range. Let's use this a little bit. Actually, maybe, uh, maybe things are relatively clear. Let's walk over all of this beautiful armor. Okay. That's not a guy with red eyes, that's a fire. Okay, I, this thing is slowing me down. Yes, okay. I'm stuck. How did I get on top of it? <laughs> That's probably why I was stuck, I bet. I couldn't get down the stairs, and I was like, what's going on? I was trying to strafe down. Uh, probably what's happening is that guy was right on top of me. Okay. A lot of parts of that worked. Hold on, let's get out our our good versatility load out here, and we're gonna start this with the grenade. Gun. All right, it's having trouble using its uh, rockets in here because of the low ceiling. Awesome. Ow, I walked right back into- I, like, I sidestepped out of his line of fire, and then it took so long for the bullet to get to me that I sidestepped back into it before it actually got me. Being hit in the back. Uh, yeah, they're flanking me. I think I got him. Shoot. Okay. This is very tough. We almost had it, and then I got- Complacent because I thought we were clear. <laughs> Maybe I do just want to stick with the laser. The laser's doing fine work. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, a little closer to that than I wanted to be. Then I threw my grenade very poorly. Okay, so that's exploding for a minute. Let's fall back here. I can fight at really long range, and most of them can't. 
Although, they are kind of everywhere, aren't they? Alright, hold up, hold up, hold up. I would like to charge, please. I think there was some health and armor that I couldn't pick up in the uh, underground here. No, I got the stuff at the end of this hall. But maybe down here, was there like an armor vest that I didn't... No, I... I did need it, apparently. Wow, there were some grenades I didn't need. Let's take those. Um... Now let's stick with... I was thinking about loadouts there, but let's stick with the laser. I like the laser. Nobody got in behind us. Let's take it slow here. I'm not con too concerned about actually being stealthy. I just want all of the enemies on the same side of me. Makes it a lot easier to take the good sh shots. Man, they were not all on the same side of me. There was a guy to the left of me. I wish I had help. Maybe what we should do is just try to run through. I do like this. I, I like this opening. I hope this isn't like super boring for you guys, but this is like a really good sort of encapsulation of the way that I play a difficult part in a game. So just keep smashing my head against it and learning. Don't, you know, don't just fling yourself at it. Improve. Take each failure as an opportunity to learn something new and do a little bit better. Oh, you fool. He charged forward to a position where he couldn't shoot me because his guns were behind the car, but I could see his head. It was like the worst possible outcome for him. I was going to keep walking back and forth over all of this armor, so that whenever I take damage, I immediately pick up new armor. Not perfectly accurate there. Got him. Why well, hit him? I don't know if he died. There's a there's a heavy weapon. Here we go. I kept walking over it, but uh, continuing to walk instead of pressing E quickly enough. It's tough to hit the snipers with this thing. It has a bit of an arc. What hit me from the left, man? All right, I like that a lot. We're gonna, we're not gonna back up. We're gonna just stand strong on the mountain of robot parts that that robot dropped because it looks like he drops like six hundred armor or something. We can just keep walking back and forth over it, and they're really not that dangerous if you have the uh, electro grenades. Oh, let's not get any closer to it yet. Okay. Now it has finished its work. Alright, I don't think I want to switch to the heavy weapon. It's just too difficult to use at long range. As soon as we move forward, and they can surround us, like, it gets really bad. Also, we do get the... Oh, no! Oh, no. We do get the occasional flanker over here. I just keep... Keep rubbing all over all the armor. And we can't just sit here and wait for it to be perfectly clear, right? We know that guys are coming. Ah, battle stilts! 
well, shit. Uh, I got shot with a rocket or something. That was an explosion. Okay. All right. We're figuring this out. I'm looking over at the timer. I'm trying to decide how many how many minutes is too many minutes to spend on this. Honestly, if it's just me playing, I'm doing this until uh, until it works. But I know that's not necessarily the most entertaining thing to watch. Got him. Alright, I kind of want to... That's not actually a body. That's just a person who slumped over and didn't fall down all the way. And we gotta push forward, right? Because we have to get to the commander. But I'm trying to... There's a lot of guys on the map already. And then more will spawn. Right? Ah, couldn't get back to the armor. So my plan here, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to be able to kill and kill all the guys that are currently spawned, or at least a lot of them, so that it's more of a trickle of incoming enemies rather than... A wave. That's overthrown. It worked. We're certainly farming electrical stun kills pretty quickly. I'm pretty pleased with that shot, by the way. Took the guy's head right off as he was charging us. By the way, I think by far the best upgrade we've ever bought was the capacity increase for this thing. Right, let's try to go forward a little faster than I have been. We actually got him that time. Oh man, a lot of those dudes are snipers. No! Uh, I should have charged him is what I should have done. I should have put up the stilts. They'd never expect that. Collect all gold items for 100% completion. Actually, it's considerably more than that we have to collect. Oh, it, um, it auto-saved me when we got close to the guy. I was a little unprepared for that. Okay, so I need to... I need cover. These, like, wide-open tunnels are killing me. He's down. Reload, reload, reload. Ah! I don't know what it was that exploded in front of me there, but that sucked. It might have been diesel whatever fire. It might. There might be one of those big guys down there. Why won't you die? There's an Enigma card, and then actually, let's just run. Uh, this, okay. Pressed up against the back of this. And discovered that it is not a, uh, not an escape. Good news is we are actually talking about finite enemies now. That's right. This is not the ideal range for this gun. Actually, it seems to have done an okay job. Why does everything in this place have to explode? Why are these tunnels filled with explosives? Who put all this stuff here? The guy in the Nazi unit whose job it is to lay out all the red barrels really is like working a lot of overtime. Ah! 
Ah, oh, everything's on fire. Everything is always on fire. There's no place I can stand where I'm not within two feet of an explosive. <laughs> Whew, okay. That's the commander down. As dumb as this strategy is, this is the only place on the map where I'm not surrounded by explosives. So, let's do this. Let's let all the close range guys come up in close range. Okay. Are there more? It kind of looks like there's not, maybe? Quick save. I don't want to use the quick save to cheese the enemy packs too much, right? Like the, the levels were designed with you taking a certain number of enemies in mind. And I do want to get, you know, the, to, a, to a certain extent, I, I do want to have the experience the developer intended. Because I want to know what the game they designed is. I'm not opposed necessarily to replacing it partially with my own game if I... I think I if I think I need to, but let's at least try their game first, right? Yes. Where are all these assholes? Reload, reload faster. Where did they even come from? We should not be having spawns anymore, so those guys were already excellent. But it's possible that they're spawning quite a way- that they were spawning, rather. Quite a ways away, and that that was, like, the last group. Okay. Oh, we have a map. Let's look at it. It's not really very filled in. Alright. Suppose that's on me. Let's go fill it in a little bit. Oh, wait. I thought I saw a telltale glimmer of loot. Why can I not jump over this? These railings. That is quite a lot of health. Okay, the railings don't invisible while you... If you jump from the one side. Alright, well that's gotta be the way forward. So let's go there in a minute. Okay, nothing over here. Oh, I felt like, you know, we uh, figured stuff out there. We eventually were able to concoct a reasonable strategy. Hold on. You know me, we gotta figure out which way is forward, and then we gotta go the other way real quick and look for stuff. Is that something? No, it's just a reflection of that light. Okay. I think that guy should have been on higher alert, considering all the noises from upstairs. But, you know, it had been a little while since a gun had been fired, so maybe he just figured they got me. Okay. Since we know that there are potentially guys in this area who are unaware, let's take it slow. What are you? Is it a clarinet? It is. It's a, we found a golden clarinet. Paris Jack will be so happy. <sighs> Alright, well... Things have calmed down a little bit, but when I say things, I don't necessarily mean the music. Which makes me think that we need to be on guard. So it seems like they don't hear the sound of me smashing open the crates, 
But if I fail to smash and I accidentally throw a hatchet at a crate, they do hear that. Surprise! Stealth. That guy deserved that. He should have been paying more attention. I wouldn't have murdered him if he'd seen me. Feels a little judgmental. All right, I'm feeling feeling a little more secure now. I suppose we're still live though. Let's uh, let's not loosen up too much yet. That could be the end of the level right there. Okay. So there could just be another door they're gonna make me open Anya. manually for some reason. Come in, Anya, do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing uh, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Well, listen, don't do anything reckless. Huh. Now you stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. You'll make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. I do make a pretty good distraction. Kill them all. So I'm assuming I will not be able to just... Okay. One shot. Honestly, one shot's good enough, though, right? Just gotta make it count. Shit. Next stop, Lakeview District. You know what? I think maybe we killed that thing so quickly before because there were a bunch of explosives nearby. Well, hold on, I have, um... Did I not... I didn't pick up the ammo for this thing on the run where I actually survived. Shit. I can dual wield them. Alright. Let's try this. There's a lot of damage. Okay. I was just thinking, you know, its head's exposed. Maybe we can uh, pull something off. Alright, I'm gonna try. Ah. I, didn't, I didn't get to climb on that thing at all. And then it stepped on me. I was kind of hoping we could, like, land on it and maybe do some cool stuff with a QTE, perhaps? Okay. Oh, I need batteries. I need batteries very badly. I'm confident I can kill it with the laser. I need batteries and I need a grenade. Or at least a couple a couple more grenades. One, one grenade and one shot with the laser is not, not going to cut it. All right, let's try not to provoke it this time until... Till I have the tools I need. Do I have a weapon thing? I do. Supercharge might actually be useful here, but we won't be able to do it on the on the current amount of ammo. I'm sure it's a multi multi shot ammo thing. I guess I'll just hold this. All right, we can't upgrade weapons that we're not carrying. That makes sense. I do wish I could you know, get on it and do a thing to kill it. Right, just everybody real quiet for a second here. I'm looking for ammo. Next stop, Lakeview District. Not finding very much.
it's gonna see me. All right. Blasco, bogged down by Nazis here. Foster's top side of the. Get on ya! What's the name of this fucking place? We're on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. I think we're gonna hold out for a wee bit, but these Nazis keep coming like torrential diarrhea. Terror Billet, we've met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out for much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! Fergus, I read. Sorry, it's being held up. Working to resolve the problem. Hmm. That's ominous. I kind of thought that guy that I had to run past to get down here was going to follow us down, which is why I didn't try to leave immediately. I didn't want to get shot in the back as we were turning the corner. All right, well, that was maybe not the way that that was intended to go, but it sure did go, didn't it? Hard to argue with results. Actually, it's rarely true. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing, Anya! If we're going down, we're going down fighting! Grace! We need evacuation now! Could you guys not with the going down? I'm kind of like... I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming. We're on high alert. Well, that's blown my cover. Christ, Grace, that was close. You're still a Conrag, mind you, but you're the most lovable Conrag I've ever laid eyes on. Fergus, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Laskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the Altsmerts yeah, on the radar. Yeah, working on it. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty bad. Quantity is a quality, right? I am not going to try to stay and fight all of the Nazis in this entire damn city. Getting real close to this guy. Uh, something blew up. It feels like that's basically always how I die now. Something near me blew up. I actually can't do that. Don't know why I thought I would be able to. Fairly sharp incline. incline. Okay, batteries when we no longer need them. Check upstairs in a second here. Just trying to make sure I have all of the stuff. Okay. Yeah, this is a pretty nice piece of music too. around it. Don't like that. Right. Shit. Yeah, there was fire coming from, I think, the doorways on both sides of us. It's kind of hard to tell, actually, where it was all coming from. through here, grab all this health and armor real quick.
Alright. Blaskowitz, all of the evacuees are That's on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded. And the outsmercher is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? Oh uh, yeah, please be not. The atom bomb could push the boat out to sea. Now that's the stupidest <laughs> yeah, plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. That, I just hope it's mm, far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. Yeah, that seems like a phenomenally bad idea, but I guess that's what we're doing. I'm sneaking. I'm glad these guys are bad shots. Saw the red light for a second there and uh, almost reflexively shot it. Okay. This is not a good plan. And I know a thing or two about not good plans. Close, close, close. Boy. That's good to have some repercussions. Got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. Fire angle commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alsmers would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alsmers would swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. Are we gonna start this revolution? We need to put an end to the Alsmers firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack, conquer the Alsmers, and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Alsmers is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. <laughs> Except for the fact that the Oberkommando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Oberkommando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Oberkommando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah. I did make it to the moon and back. Not with that attitude. <laughs> you tell him, BJ. There is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. No, While that's a bad idea. Jules Redfield. Here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. No, 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 no. Hold on. Let's do a plan where I kill every Nazi and steal a rocket ship or something. I don't like this at all. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? Can't even tell no more. <laughs> Have a look. Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. 
remember. You are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned Jesus. by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. This, this fucking Redfield. game. Mr. Hughes Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Mm. I hope it is securely locked. Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to This is going to be a nightmare. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. I have Redfield, one of those as well. I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you okay. shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a... Right How down am I the supposed to remember this shit? I'm gonna write this down. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, we'll just take some notes. I should probably have actually read them myself. Whatever, it's fine. Hide Hitler! Hide Hitler! Wait a minute. Oh, wow. That's not what I was expecting. Alright, well, something, uh, something just got added to the list of things we're doing before we leave Venus. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it, too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler, wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie, mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. That anger turned to fear real I'm fast. Arizona. <laughs> wow. All right. She's got a real, uh, a real cool and collected demeanor. It's probably a valuable insight or a valuable set of skills we deal with this dude. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William. Oh, Josef. Platzkowitsch. Oh. Oh. I mean, I could probably just just jump him now, right? He has a pistol on him. It has some bullets in it. That's enough for me to get through my, through all of Venus. Mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. 
Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeile, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Schüler, bravo! BJ's not gonna clap for that. Disguise or no disguise. Oh, um Gottes Willen. Listen, I'm not saying I want Hitler to survive, but I am saying I'd like to be the one to do it, so maybe I should, like, hurry up before something else takes care of it for me. Mutti. Mir ist so kalt. Fick! Her facial animations are very solid, I think. This, a lot has been conveyed here. Yo. Sie spielen die Szene. Elena! Zusammen mit ihm. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What oh, the hell? Ah, oh, shit. Uh, and you're a... You're a real nice woman. You're a not Yeah, this one probably. And you are a Nazi whore. You I bet that's it. Of course that's what it. What are you going to do to me? Uh, I will love and kiss you. Definitely cake and butter. Cake and butter you. I mean, right, we're being represented as the most evil terrorist of all time, so. I will rape and murder you. <laughs> so many German innocent lives you have killed. Honestly, my impression of myself German is great. Race will rise again. I would never know it isn't me, because it uh, definitely is. Boo? I will... Save, I will massacre, yeah, I'm, I'm buffing your ripe peach, I will. Don't mess with me. I will massacre your damn people, probably. I will massacre your damn people, too. <laughs> Ach, widerlich, absolut widerlich. Sie haben offensichtlich keine Ahnung, wer dieser Mann ist. Ah, fucking. I just fucking got shot by Hitler. Okay. All right, I'm gonna actually look at my lines this time. To remember this shit. Murder your dirty race. Okay. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. Wait. This is exciting, man. Venus and all. Yeah, that's a little weird, though. No. Why Venus? That's a good question. Producer, gotta be a real big cheese. Muhammad must go to the mountain type deal. I don't know that he'd appreciate that particular. Uh, what was your name? Roland, was it? Ronald. Ronald. Nah. I used to do uh, broadcasts uh, when I was younger. Nowadays, it's all pictures and TV. Yeah, I thought about doing film acting, but I just love the theater. I'm not sure I even want this role. It's not like real acting unless you're on a stage in front of a live audience. You know what I mean. Sure thing, Gene. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, let's let's do this. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. All right, we can probably skip this whole thing. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! <laughs> what are you going to do I to love, me? I love how uncertain uh, he looks. Uh, I will. I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again. Shit. I will murder your dirty race too, right? It was dirty. That's probably right. I will murder your dirty race too. <laughs> Die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Joseph Blatzkowitsch. Well, oh, come on, who could? Wie können sie sein, was sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen sie die Rolle. Füllen sie, füllen sie, füllen sie die Rolle. Kind of curious to see where this is going to go. That is what you are. And you're a Nazi whore. You 
monster. It's not bad. What are you going to do to me? I will rape you, and I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race, too. <laughs> Yeah, listen, I'm not going to argue. That guy's a much better actor than I am. William Joseph Blatskovich. Aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neu-Mexiko. Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Hm. Und tatsächlich, als wir nach seiner Exekution aufschnitten, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Are those significantly different than other people's innards? What's the... Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Yeah, no, this has been very difficult Esmer, for you. Why don't you take a, take a little lay down? This road is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, he was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Bloskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldier standing guard outside okay. the school. This sounds like an opportunity. Fight scene. Mr. Le Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? That was good, the way he stepped over the vomit without making it obvious that he was worried about it. Fight sequence. And once the guard is eliminated, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card. Exactly as written. Yeah. Opportunity. And action. So they're not even gonna have anybody like take this dead guy out of here because I feel like he should probably. Stop! Oh God, I'm, I'm bleeding! I'm bleeding! I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. Yeah, I need a doctor. Line. Okay. Your bravery <laughs> is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Things people often say about themselves. I would think that this dude would stay focused a little bit better after seeing what had happened over here. Come on, you had to know that was coming. Mr. Redfield, please. The that's him, right? What's my fake name? No, that's me. Okay. I'm glad BJ remembered it. Can I just kind of like pretend to accidentally murder Hitler Mr. on the way Redfield. in? Would you step into the box? This isn't going to work out, but I'm doing it. A hundred percent worth it. Oh, I couldn't get through the door. I was, I was standing. I tried to run physically through the door instead of, you know, through the doorway. We'll just go ahead and do it right. But I, I could not help myself. I'm sure you'll forgive me. Hey, dude. Action! I'm a good, good shooting guy. There we go. Why didn't it work the first time? Acting! Actually, Hitler, Hitler will probably love that. Is that what you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi asshole. Because that's all you're getting. <laughs> Oh God! Sorry, guy. perfect. I don't feel so bad about the other two. Those those guys put themselves in the in the ground. That one was definitely my fault. You shouldn't open that. 
Was zur Hölle ist das? Boy, it's a good thing this safety hatchet's here. You know, for safety. Please don't touch my laser. I'm very touchy about my laser. Brace yourself, Adolf. I like that it remembers secret Odin cards. I like that it remembers what my uh take out my favorite weapons are. And show the American people what revolution looks like. Welcome to Venus. Yeah. Oh my god. If you're about to do something like serious and physical, there is nothing better you can do than jam 15 whole apples into your face. Should I maybe be in stealth mode? Yeah. und einige Gefangene versuchten zu fliehen. Viel oh, Krawall, Gott. viel Tote. Irgendwann schaute ich um die Ecke. Was sehe ich da? Wen? Den verdammten Terrorbelly. Ist nicht wahr. Natürlich kannte ich ihn damals kaum. Well, he's he's facing. Ich schwöre bei Gott. Irgendwie fehlt mir die Zeit mit Terrorbelly. I'm gonna let them finish the whole story. Ich hatte here. das Gefühl, was Sinnvolles zu tun. Verstehst du? Na klar. Was würdest du dafür geben, noch so eine Chance zu erhalten? Have you ever killed anybody? And he asks, wait, do executions count? These guys. These fucking guys. Huh. A gold ice bucket? Man, there's a lot of... Where do you think they get all these all this food? This has gotta be expensive, right? There's no way that you could farm on Venus. I guess hydroponics. But like the atmosphere here really sucks, doesn't it? They'd have to How big is this complex? It's a serious outlay of resources. This is this a door? Yes. Shh. Nice. General Engel. Dunked, you could, oh, something, I don't know. We love it here, on the Venus, is what Frau Engel's always saying. Remember how she's always saying that? Take this. Oh, this guy is, like, into Frau Engel, huh? Boy, oh boy, is he. All right, well. Listen, what we've done here is a mercy for you, buddy. That relationship was not going to go the way you wanted. Good, good, good. Map. It turns out I get lost really easily, so a map should be very helpful. It's a star card, okay. Is there somebody in here? Not anymore. Jesus, that was violent. Also, I jammed his hand all the way through this table with my incredible terribility strength. Nice. Should get to work on upgrading my weapons. That is nice. Is he saying that? Because I, I think I already had a kit, right? Because I had, I had decided what I wanted to do with it. Yeah, that's a good, uh, that's a good audio cue. So if they're lit, that means they are assigned to somebody? Because this is my room. Which means these ones are, yeah, they're going to be locked. Okay. The rules of this place might actually end up mattering, you know? The, the fact that we figured out how the how they're signaling doors on being unlocked might matter later. Okay, well, I think we're all clear here. And that probably means... Oh, no, there's three more rooms to check. Two more rooms to check, rather. Words is hard. Words? Counting. All of it. Pretty difficult. Victor. Something. I don't know. We'll, uh, we'll listen to records later. I'm kind of busy. Let's clear this area out, and then I think, unfortunately, we are going to have to stop for today. Ooh. 
Russian Federation. This is probably pretty meaningful, but I don't have the technical knowledge to understand what is being depicted here. Huh. What is that a picture of? Guys carrying something? This room is unsettling to me. Alright, well, like I said, unfortunately that is going to have to be it for us for today. So, a lot of stuff happened here. Everybody, take a moment. Digest. Come back fresh tomorrow. Uh, we're going to storm Venus and murder Adolf Hitler. And we'll see you then.